healthy slow cooker recipe. I love slow cooker recipes. Awesome. I love her. Abby Sharp is with us. <laughs> All right, slow cooker. So slow cooking is healthy. Why? Well, I think I love slow cooking, slow cooker recipes because they allow you to use lean, inexpensive ingredients like yeah. tougher cuts of meat and those types of things. And they soften them and up a little bit. And they soften them yeah, up yeah, and make yeah. them delicious and tender with very little added fat. Very good. And we like hearing that. So you, yes. today she's making, just get this, quinoa stuffed cabbage rolls. Yes. That's great. Yes. So what would, what would we normally stuff our cabbage rolls with? Rice? Usually it's rice and yeah. other kind of ground beef. Okay. So where do we begin? Well, um, we're going to add lots of veggies to get yep. started. Okay. I've got some diced onion here, mm -hmm. so that's kind of just to get some flavor in there. Right. A little bit of garlic, just your classic. This is not traditional, but this is what I like. A little grated carrot, because what you will see in a lot of cabbage roll recipes is sometimes like sugar or a little bit of sweet element, sometimes dried fruit, but we've got some natural sweetness oh. going on with some carrot. Yeah. Add some more veggies in the mix, why not? And my quinoa, yeah, right? Right. So, yes, traditionally you'll see the rice, but quinoa is very high in protein, yep. fiber, gluten-free too, if that's a consideration mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. About a cup of that. Smoked paprika, very common in Eastern European cuisine. Okay. A little bit of our egg, that's our, our classic binder. Yeah. And I'm using a combo, beef, turkey. I use the extra lean because, like we were saying, it really tenderizes it. Okay. You don't need to worry about these being... Uh, dry when they come out. Mm -hmm. And my secret ingredient, you'll see here, you're like, what is that? Secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. Time. You've seen me do this with my burgers before. Yeah. But I've got some ground up mushrooms because mushrooms have the same meaty flavor and texture as ground beef. Yeah. So, you know, you can actually... But what kind of mushrooms are you talking about? I use cremini, but really yeah. any kind okay. works because you're grinding them up. Really, yeah. You don't see what kind of... And are you getting rid, rid of the water when you're doing that too a little bit? Yes. Really a whole lot of I water. like to squeeze them out yeah. a little bit so yeah. they're not so yeah. so watery. But you yeah. know what? They also keep these really, really moist. So it's, it's doing double duty in all sorts of ways. Makes these lower in calories and you can get more, <laughs> at, more cabbage rolls out of the recipe. Very good. So we're just going to season this up with a little bit of salt and pepper mm -hmm. and just do that right there. And I'm going to get the cabbage. So basically what I've done is I have removed, you want to remove the cabbage from the head. I've taken out, you can see a little, the stem, because it tends to be very tough. It's yeah. tough and you want to make sure that these guys are pliable right. so that you can roll them up really. So it's a little bit of boiling water for how long? Oh, it doesn't take much, yeah. just like 30 seconds or so. You just okay. want to make them a little bit more easy to maneuver. Right, right, and right. just get this all mixed up. Okay. And I am using a measuring cup for this because... Uh -huh. I don't know about you, but whenever I do anything eyeballing... Do you overstuff? I overstuff. Yeah. I, I admit it. Full okay. confession here. Okay. Because the first one will turn out really good. But yeah. the second one, you know, the, by the end of the batch, you're making really fat cabbage rolls. Someone's going to fight over who gets the big one, who gets the small one. You, you don't, don't need that dinner time no, drama, right? You don't. You don't. It's so funny. When my uh, aunt used to make uh, cabbage rolls or my mother would make stuffed peppers, yes. I would take just this part and not eat the cabbage or the pepper. <laughs> Because I thought it was sneaky. weird using it as a dish. You, you know, know, I thought it was weird wrapping it in cabbage, but now I understand. Now you understand, it. right? Okay, so let's do this. So let's scoop, just do one of these guys. Away. Yeah. Scoop one of these in. Yeah. Pop it in just like that. And the, the, I like the, uh, this is the operation. So you go roll, tuck, roll, just like that. Uh-huh. Pop those into the slow cooker. We've got some already in here. And how long does that stay? They do it for all day or half day? You can or? do it all day. So if you are in a rush, you could yeah. do four to five hours on high. But yeah. typically you're away all day at work. So yeah. you go eight to nine hours on low. But we have to do tomato sauce. you got to have on. something to, yeah, yeah. To, for them to bathe in all day long okay. to get nice and tender. So this is just some basic low sodium, low sugar uh, pasta sauce, whatever your family has on hand. And How right. low should that sugar be when you are buying pasta sauce? I always basically look for the, I mean, tomatoes have sh natural sugars. Right. And we can't escape that. Yeah. Is there a number though? Because I was looking the other day and I went, what Well, number? what I would pay more attention to is yeah. the ingredient list ah. and look for, is there added sugar to this? Yeah. If not, How then... How about tomato first? To well, tomato first should all, be the first tomato ingredient. Thing. You know, that's what right? you're looking yeah. for. But I looked at the sugar content, and even though some of the labeling is beautiful and everything, I couldn't believe how 
high yes. some of the sugar was. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So we've got some more smoked paprika. Yes. Very traditional. I gotta get some of that. A touch right. of honey, because like I said, you know, a lot of these cabbage roll recipes have a little bit of sweetness, but I've really cut down the amount of sugar um, in this recipe, just a teeny little taste, uh, okay. teaspoon or so. All right. A few shakes of Worcestershire, sure, sure, whatever you want to say. Nobody actually knows how to say that. Not word, really. Right? You got it. So this is my other kind of special ingredient, sauerkraut. Ah. Not just for sandwiches anymore, right? right? Because this adds that kind of sweet and sour balance. Sure. But it tends to be very high in sodium, so I've rinsed this sauerkraut, squeezed it out so I'm not adding extra water here, and you're basically just rinsing away all the salt, like okay. a lot of that salt there. Very good. So let's go get this. So this recipe that you made for us today, Abby, how many would uh, cabbage rolls would it be About for? 16. 16 yeah. cabbage rolls. You come home, the house smells mm, good. So good. So just carefully ladle this on. We don't want to... I wouldn't pour this on because we've got cute outfits on and yeah. dry clean only. We don't yeah. need any tomato, exactly. space, tomato sauce splattering. Yeah. But pop the lid on. Like I said, eight to nine hours. You've got a delicious, healthy meal ready to go. It's very balanced. You've got your lean meat. You've got your whole right. grains, veggies in there. Do and you have to prep it or anything before you put it in uh, with any kind of... Uh, uh, no, I mean, a lot of these slow cookers are non-stick. Right, okay, very so good. they're good to go. Okay, thanks to Abby. Great recipe. Take a look at this. This is a beauty, isn't it? Everyone's going to go home with a slow cooker from Black & Decker. <laughs> How about that? And a great recipe, too, from Abby Scott. We do have to take a break. We'll be back right after this. up it's love at first bite when we catch up with the man of bitten stay tuned